James Elder for IPL TV in association with Matt Cleans Gym Bar. I'm at the Pro SW Gym today in Loughton. With me, I've got Michael to look Lomax. How are we doing, Michael? You all right? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. Just saw you and Chad Simmons making weight. Uh, looked a little bit heated towards the end of that. Can you explain the full situation, what happened? Um, basically, he started slagging off my wife, saying, oh, about, um, about my bad breath. He says, I've got bad breath. Well, very strange of me to have bad breath. I brush my teeth every day. And I had chewing gum before I come in here, so no. So I just said to him, look, don't, I don't care what you say, but when you start getting personal, slagging off family, look, understand it's all about banter and things like that. You don't have to start bringing in family and that lot. So I threatened to throw him out the window, carries on. Pretty easy. What was his reaction to you threatening to fr throw him out the window, so to speak? Oh, well, basically everyone was like, oh, stop, stop. Um, look, at the end of the day, he wants me to lose my rank, he wants me to charge at him. Start throwing A makers and all that lot. But look, I'm going to skill him. I'm going to show him how to box and I can't wait. You nearly succeeded. I had visions of you running and charging and just both of you going through these double Do you doors. Know what? Here, you know? If I had my wicked way, I would have thrown him off a long time ago, but it's one of those. You two, there's real needle between you two, a real animosity. Like you both, both come across as really likable people one on one. What, yeah, what, it, why does it come from when we put you together? We have this animosity. Do you know what? He just gets in my face. He just slags me off, and he wants a response. But I come across as Mr. Nice Guy. I am a nice guy, and. Um, Wait until the support for my fight is going to be amazing. I mean, like 200 people chanting my name. Come on, uh, that is why I'm looking forward to this being my retiring fight. I've done my I've done my years with the game, and um, with him, I'm going to give him his opportunity to try and get his own back on me. But really, it's levels, and I'm a league above him. I mean, 2002, you won the ABAs. Yes. When you look at that now, to where you are now, have you enjoyed your career as a, as a professional fighter so far? I've enjoyed it. Um, I've had some good highs and some good lows. Obviously, the lows are losing. Um, but like for myself, look, everything's been an achievement, and this would be like another achievement: winning three belts, winning a prize fighter, and retiring almost 37, and still in the top 10 in the country. Not too bad. Surely, surely, if you do come through this victorious, you'll always have in the back of your mind just one more night. One Never, more ever. Fight. Never. No way in a million years. I've promised my wife, my family, I'm, I'm going to be more full on. Um, work's busy, I'm busier than ever. Um, so I'm in a good place. So I want to enjoy my kids growing up, and that's a massive factor to me because I've never done night feeds and things like that. So I take me out to my wife more than anything. All right, well, listen, Michael Lomax, I can't thank you for talking to IFL TV. Thank really you. We appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing an interesting scrap uh, tomorrow night on your call. It's going to be a good night.